I'm gonna do something with this uh, the planter. So there's you know several parts of the of the planter and each each what plane that interacts with the uh, each way that any anything is facing is going to interact with the light differently, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, that said, I'm just going to um, work on this bottom part. I'm going to red it up, red orange it up a bit. This is um, I'm, I'm going to mix in some uh, some quinburnt orange with some naphthol red. There's too many. Uh, too many competing colors in that space right there. Getting low on Quinn, Quinn burnt orange. But um, I don't want to make it too much darker, but I want to, um, well, I'll show you what I want to do. First of all, I want a bigger brush. Why bigger, you might ask? This is a is a relatively easy shape to control, and one of the ideas is for watercolor is to use as, as big of a brush as you can to feel like you have control over the shape you're working on. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, naphthol red and burnt orange. To this whole bottom shape, um, uh, cast shadow and form shadow and everything. And as I work back, I'm going to try to add in a little bit darker color. And even some darker color. In hindsight, I would have uh, had that mixed. Hey, look, there's some violet. That'll work nice to to darken that down. Not sure if I'm crazy about that or not. Let's see what happens with a little bit more naphthol red. This is gonna be <laughs> your bravery test. Is uh, I uh... that's a Bob Ross line. It's not mine. So I'm I'm. Wanting to make, sh I'm wanting to get it sort of clearly more red, and at the same time, not lose the little bit lighter value of the front part of the planter. But that's going to help it define it from this other area a little bit better, and. That's, I think that's okay for now. Do you really, James? Um, yeah. I'll let that dry. There'll be um, another another round of s some things, but yeah, I'm glad I got that a little bit more red and to stand out a little bit more. Um, while I have this. Um, brownish violet 
That's basically some Quin Rose and some Ultramarine Blue and some um, Quin Burnt Orange. Sort of a brownish violet. I'm just going to tone down um, stuff here because this would certainly be out of the light. And perhaps I'll take it as an opportunity to uh, I'll have to come back and figure out what's happening there but just sort of to darken this whole this whole area I'm even going to go over the, the back part of the rim kind of making it just making it so the all these grass and stuff, dirt, inside here is making sense value-wise. That was a little bit of a, eh, I'm going to get a little bit of ultramarine blue, see if I can just get it darker over here. So hopefully one of the things you're kind of learning is that by expand having a, a wider range of things that are dark and things that are light has a definite effect of uh, making the painting just seem overall well overall more enjoyable for me and just overall more effect of what how light really interacts with with objects with matter this um tree trunk is cylindrical in nature so even though it's sort of all out of the shadow i'm trying to make it so the side that's further away from the light is even a little bit darker. It's kind of the same idea as these guys down here. At this point, it's not, hopefully you've heard me say, um, value does all the work color gets all the credit because at this point it's really not about color but it's about knowing I want it really dark I'm going to come back and do the tree and try to just have one last pass of refining what's dark, what's not, what's you know, just the, the shape, the overall shape. But yeah, I think it's kind of coming together. I wonder how much space is left on this video, but as I have this dark, well, a little bit of dark, I've been putting this off for a while. And actually don't love that color. I wanted that a little bit more dark green. At least some sort of what one might imagine as being green. I know you wouldn't mistake that for green, but um, what 
happens if I plop a little bit of yellow. Windows are great fun, uh, kind of tricky in themselves because it's sort of like a mirror more than anything else. Sure. You can see up here that's obviously a very not clean edge. I may worry about that, I may not. Okay. 